My name is Rumen Milev and I'm one of the three co-authors of the current study which I will invite you to examine in more detail uh, by reading uh, the um, article. Our study is devoted on studying a very important problem and specifically the stigma in patients with mental disorders. In this particular study we have focused on the experiences with patients uh, with bipolar disorder. We have used a, a tool uh, for studying stigma uh, called Inventory of Stigmatizing Experiences. This tool has two subscales, uh, Stigmatizing Experiences scale and the Stigma Impact scale, which measures the impact on patients' lives and their families. The tool was developed in 2005 by Stuart Milev and Kohler and has been used in a number of other research studies. In this study, we were able to validate the tool in a Spanish-speaking population from Argentina. The current study is on 178 patients with bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 uh, um, disorder from Argentina, compared with 214 patients with similar disorders from uh, Canada. Uh, we were able to show that uh, both populations have very high level of stigmatizing experiences and which leads to significant impact on both patients' lives and their families. We have noticed that uh, in the Argentinian population uh, both the uh, stigmatizing experiences were lower number and the impact was somewhat lower. The explanation uh, for that uh, finding is discussed in the article. We have also found, uh, interestingly, that uh, the stigmatizing experiences and the impact in both bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 are very similar in nature, which refutes the uh, widely held view that uh, bipolar 2 is the milder form of the bipolar disorder. So once again, I uh, welcome you to uh, read our article and uh, if you require any additional information, please do not hesitate to contact me directly. Thank you very much.